we want to display. This is going to center the object like this one is centered right here. You see how it's centered? It's got its own line and everything. That's a display type object. So we go to insert display formula. Okay. All right. Now for this large piecewise type thing. If we look down here in the menu, we have insert cases environment. And that's the one that we want. Okay. So for our first line, we have zero. If x equals, whoops. Okay. Here's something else that's special. If you want text, just regular text, you have to type backslash mbox. Okay? Backslash mbox is going to give you regular text. Then hit spacebar and you're going to do no normal text. So we'll have if and then a space and then we want to get out of the mbox. Okay? So we have x equals backslash frac spacebar. 1 over 2. Okay, so now we need another line, right? The way that you do this, the way you get to another line, is to hit Control Enter. That gives you another line to add another case for your piecewise function. So we need another fraction. Again, we're going to do mbox for text space and I need another M box Now I could go look for the greater than or equal to sign right here, or I could just see the command GEQ, okay, backslash GEQ, spacebar, there you go. And I need the in sign, Ooh, that ought to be fun to find, huh? All right, there it is. So you see the command is called in. So next time you need to use it, you can just type backslash in. And then I need integers, which I said were right here. Like I said, once you find the commands, you can use them later to make things quicker. And again, I need a new line, control enter. And that gives me a new line. I need mbox spacebar for text. Okay, so now my piecewise function is done. Okay, so now we've done all this stuff. We have really gone a long way here, going from having none of this stuff installed, not knowing what LaTeX is, how it works, to being able to insert math objects into a document. We've really gone a long way. But now we need to see the output here. This is really the beauty of Lix and LaTeX editors. They make this so quick for you. We've installed all these different things. We've typed up all these different things in this document. Now we want to look at it. The way that we do it is we go to this icon right here, View PDF. Okay, you may be able to find it from 
view right here and go to PDF to LaTeX. I believe that's correct. Yes. Click that icon and it should bring up your Adobe Acrobat Reader and you will view what this document will look like printed out. Okay, so we, here we see our homework that we just did, all the things that we just typed up. The first problem with the proof. The second problem with the proof. Now, what we're missing on this, obviously we didn't finish each one. We we're just doing a little sample. Um, we need to insert proof right here and have our little finished with proof box at the end. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, now in order to get the proof environment, we need to change the document type here. So we're going to go to document, document settings, and in document class, we want to change this to article AMS, which stands for American Math Society. Okay. So now we, you'll see we have a huge list of things here for American Math Society. They're all right here. So for example, our first proof. We highlight it, we go to our environment box, and we will change it to proof. Okay, and you see we have proof before it and our closed box at the end. For our second problem, we highlight our proof text, go to the environment box, and change it to proof. And again, we're going to preview what we have here. Hit the View PDF button. Okay, so here's all the work that we've done so far. You can see that here's the proof start and the proof end. Proof start, proof end. You're looking pretty good. And the you can find the date at the bottom of the page here. So this is what it will look like. When you print this out, this is what it's going to look like. So that's pretty nifty getting to see exactly what your document's going to look like when you print it out. It's kind of like a print preview. So this has been a introduction tutorial to using a latex editor and latex commands. Now I'm going to finish up this video series by taking a homework template file specifically for our class Math 44 Math 446 provided by the professor that has the double spacing and the environments that we need for the class embedded into them.